We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this. The Voyager space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are back in the spotlight as NASA recently faced a critical challenge that nearly severed communication with Voyager 1 permanently. On December 12, 2023, the flight data system aboard Voyager 1, consisting of three onboard computers, began transmitting incomprehensible data back to Earth. The spacecraft, typically a reliable source of data from the furthest reaches of our solar system, started sending back binary gibberish, an unending stream of ones and zeros that baffled NASA engineers. Although NASA could still communicate with the spacecraft and confirm that it was operational, the data it returned made no sense. The glitch posed a serious risk to continuing the mission, and with Voyager 1 operating 15.5 billion miles away from Earth, the stakes were high. After months of analyzing the problem and attempting every known fix, NASA engineers finally devised a solution to get the spacecraft back on track. The successful fix is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of both NASA's engineering team and the Voyager probes themselves. These spacecraft have far exceeded their original expectations, which makes their continued function all the more impressive. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched nearly 47 years ago with Voyager 2 departing first on August 20, 1977, and Voyager 1 following on September 5, 1977. Initially, these probes were designed for a four-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn, but they have far surpassed that, becoming the longest operating space probes in history. NASA's dedication to maintaining the probes in working order has allowed them to continue sending invaluable data about the outer planets, the solar system's boundaries, and interstellar space. Incredibly, NASA hopes the Voyagers will still be operational by their 50th anniversary, a milestone that would be remarkable for spacecraft that were never expected to last even a decade. Voyager 1 and 2 have become scientific legends in their own right, having contributed numerous groundbreaking discoveries since their launches. One of Voyager 1's most iconic moments came when it flew past Jupiter's moon Io and discovered that this seemingly lifeless rock was, in fact, one of the most volcanically active bodies in the solar system. The probe captured a breathtaking image of an erupting volcano on Io, a sight that shocked scientists and significantly advanced our understanding of the moon's geology. Voyager 1 also provided stunning images and important data on Saturn, including evidence that Titan, Saturn's largest moon, might have liquid on its surface, a discovery that would fuel decades of research into the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Given Voyager 1's illustrious career, it's no surprise that NASA engineers were deeply concerned when the communication glitch arose in December 2023. The probe's flight data system is critical to its function, serving as the spacecraft's command and control center. This system manages everything from data collection to signal transmission, ensuring that information collected by Voyager 1's instruments reaches Earth. Maintaining this system is essential especially since the spacecraft operates so far from Earth, 15.5 billion miles to be exact. At that distance, it takes light nearly 21 hours to travel one way, making real-time communication and troubleshooting impossible. Voyager 1's flight data system is built around the Command and Data Subsystem, CDS, a computer that processes instructions sent from Earth and manages the spacecraft's functions. However, by today's standards, this computer is astonishingly primitive. The CDS has only 68 kilobytes of memory, about as much as an early 1980s home computer, and operates at a speed of just 8 kilohertz, or 8,000 instructions per second. By comparison, a modern smartphone processor operates at a speed of several gigahertz, or billions of instructions per second, and typically contains 32 gigabytes of memory. The difference is staggering. Voyager 1's memory is akin to a cup of water, while modern memory is like an Olympic swimming pool. Yet despite these limitations, the Voyagers have been incredibly reliable thanks to NASA's careful management and forward-thinking design. When the communication glitch occurred in December, it quickly became clear that the problem was serious. Engineers discovered that approximately 3% of Voyager 1's flight data system memory had been corrupted. The exact cause of the issue remains unclear, but it could have been due to the probe's age or exposure to charged particles in deep space. Regardless of the cause, NASA had to find a way to work around the problem, 
as repairing the hardware itself was not an option. Voyager 1 is too far away for a repair mission, and no replacement parts exist for technology that is nearly half a century old. NASA's solution was ingenious. Since they couldn't replace the faulty hardware, engineers decided to reallocate the corrupted data to unused sections of Voyager 1's memory. They essentially fragmented the damage code and stored it in spare corners of the flight data system's memory, creating a workaround that allowed the spacecraft to bypass the faulty areas. On April 18, 2024, NASA transmitted the first part of the fix to Voyager 1. Because the probe is so far from Earth, it takes nearly two days to send a command and receive a response. Finally, on April 20, 2024, NASA engineers received confirmation that the fix had worked, much to their relief. The team will now spend the next several weeks reprogramming the rest of the corrupted memory to fully restore the spacecraft's functionality. This is far from the first time the Voyager probes have faced challenges. Both spacecraft have spent decades in space, enduring the harsh environment of interstellar space, where radiation and micrometeoroid impacts can take a toll on their systems. In August 2023, NASA temporarily lost contact with Voyager 2, causing a brief panic, but communication was restored after a few days. To conserve power, NASA has had to shut down many of the probe's instruments. Voyager 1 currently has only four of its original 10 instruments still operational, while Voyager 2 has five. NASA has also powered down heaters and other non-essential systems to ensure that the probe's main antennas, their primary contact points with Earth, remain functional. Despite these limitations, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue to gather valuable scientific data. The magnetometers aboard each spacecraft, which measure magnetic fields, are still operational, as are their low-energy charged particle instruments. These instruments have been instrumental in helping researchers study the heliopause, the boundary that marks the edge of the sun's influence and the start of interstellar space. In 2015, Voyager 1 made a critical discovery when it observed that even beyond the heliopause, solar wind could still redirect magnetic fields, altering the behavior of charged particles. This finding provided important insights into the structure of the interstellar medium. In addition to their scientific instruments, both Voyager spacecraft rely on radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, to power their systems and keep them warm. These generators, fueled by plutonium-238, have allowed the probes to continue their missions far longer than expected. However, the RTGs are slowly losing power, and one day, they will no longer be able to keep the spacecraft operational. When that day comes, the Voyager missions will officially end, but their legacy will live on. Even after the Voyager stops sending data, they will still serve another important purpose. Both spacecraft carry a golden record, a message from Earth intended for any extraterrestrial civilizations that might encounter them in the distant future. These phonograph records contain recordings of natural sounds, readings in 55 languages, and a selection of music from various cultures, including works by Bach, Beethoven, and Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good. The records were curated by a team led by famed astronomer Carl Sagan and are designed to last for billions of years. Each record includes instructions for playback, as well as a diagram showing the sun's location relative to 14 pulsars, allowing an intelligent being to locate Earth. One fascinating fact about the Voyager mission is that, despite their immense distance from Earth, we occasionally move closer to them. This is because as Earth orbits the Sun, there are times when our planet's velocity toward the spacecraft temporarily exceeds their velocity away from us. While the probes never slow their outward journey, the Earth's movement creates a brief period each year when the distance between us and the Voyagers decreases. The Voyager missions are a testament to human ingenuity and our drive to explore the unknown. As the farthest human-made objects from Earth, they continue to send back data from the edge of the solar system and beyond, offering invaluable insights into the nature of interstellar space. Though their time is running out, their journey will continue, leaving a lasting legacy in the annals of space exploration.